Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. This video is an introduction to stickers in Maverick, which have been introduced in our most recent release. Support for stickers is undoubtedly one of the most sought after features by our users. Let's take a look at some sticker textures we have crafted for this tutorial. They are simple images we have created in Photoshop and then saved as PNG or TIFF with a transparent alpha background. Applying stickers in Maverick is very easy. All you need to do is drop your sticker image on the target object. The drag and drop dialog will display now a new option called sticker. With this option Maverick creates and applies a sticker, and automatically enables surface mode in the move tool so you can easily slide the sticker over the surface of the object. More often than not you may want to hide the sticker gizmo. Let's inspect in detail what exactly a sticker is in Maverick. A sticker is an object modifier linked to a target object, and is formed by a material and a mask. Let's go ahead and send this sticker to the nodal editor to reveal its structure. Here you can see the material and the mask which comes from the alpha channel of the image we dropped. Note however that you will most likely never need to use the nodal editor to work with stickers. Let us create some more stickers with the other images we crafted. Again we will drop on an object, choose the sticker option, and place each sticker wherever we want. You can adjust a sticker's size with the real size attributes. If you know the real dimensions of the sticker you can type these in directly. If you only know the length along one side you may type that one in and then use the fit to bitmap button to dock the sticker to the aspect ratio of your image. You can also lock the aspect ratio between both sizes and keep them anchored. You can also rotate the sticker from its attributes. And anytime you need to change its position you can press the shortcut S to enable surface mode in the move tool. Let's create one sticker more repeating the same steps. When you end up with overlapping stickers you can assign a different Z order to each one. By default stickers are stacked in order of creation. The Z order attribute can be used to assign a different priority to each sticker. For example, the sticker with Z order 2 will be covered by the sticker with Z order 1. Note that in order to select a sticker all you have to do is click on it in the IPR. Let's discover more sticker functions. If you need to replace the image in an already existing sticker, simply drop the new image on the sticker. Maverick will update the sticker structure accordingly. After dropping you may need to use fit to bitmap to make sure that the proportions are right. Let's change the material of an already existing sticker next. Let's drop the sticker material in the attributes panel and change it to plastic or metal. For stickers to be more realistic Maverick automatically adds a tiny bump relief that you can easily configure. If you select the sticker texture, in the pixel blur rollup you can interactively change the radius of said relief. This comes in handy to quickly simulate small bumps or push buttons. If you don't want this you can simply use the buttons in the mask rollup to remove or to add this effect. You can also invert the bump to create dents or engravings.
Let's go through the different types of projections supported by stickers. If we drop an image on these cylinders you will see how the sticker is only partially visible. You can fix this by changing the depth attribute, which controls how far the sticker projection penetrates. But preferably in this case we would choose a cylindrical projection and adjust its radius. For convex surfaces we must flip the radius with this checkbox. Then we simply set the proper size, hide the gizmo, and play with the sticker material. Let's follow the same steps and drop another PNG on the other cylinder. Again we change the projection, depth, and the material. Let's see what to do if we want the sticker to wrap around a tubular shape. This would work pretty much the same for bottles and beverage cans. First we give a sufficiently large size to the sticker. Then switch over to cylindrical projection. And then adjust the radius and size like this. Another example. Let's drop a PNG on this plane. The sticker doesn't show up because we have dropped the image on the back side of the plane. To fix this you must use this checkbox to invert the projection depth and make the sticker projection go backwards. Let's now take a look at the new stickers area in the Maverick library. We have created several categories that cover a wide range of real-life projects. If you drop one of these items to your scene a sticker will be created automatically. Then you may adjust the size, material, blur radius. S explained earlier. Let's drop a few of them. If you need to move more than one sticker at once you may exit surface mode and select them one by one in the IPR or in the Scene Explorer. Here we have a library with fingerprint masks that we will use later. We also have letters and numbers for keyboards. Let's drop one of these. And change the material color. We may darken the sticker with the diffuse weight. Or disconnect the map and then set a custom color. Let's drop one of these. And change the material color. Disconnect the map and then set a custom color. Here's the Maverick logo.
Do not forget to use the fit to bitmap button to quickly rectify a stretched aspect ratio after you swap maps with drag and drop. Last but not least, let's take a look at this area where we have created some editable texts using Adobe SBSAR nodes. On Drop Maverick will ask whether you want to create a material or a sticker. We will choose sticker and use the workflow we've been using in this video. You can change the text or its properties by selecting the Substance node in the Attributes panel. We have created a bunch of templates with handwritten text. and texts that follow a circular shape. More sticker functions. Let's see how to create a sticker in Maverick without dropping an image. From the Modifiers button in the Scene Explorer we can create a new sticker. Stickers created this way are not assigned to an object by default. So we will go ahead and drop the sticker on the target object. Then we will adjust the sticker size and work on its mask. By default stickers are created with a shape map mask. The shape map allows you to create polygonal shapes very easily. You can create push buttons very intuitively this way. You can edit the material and then soften the shape to create a bumpy look. Let's now duplicate this sticker to use it again in the scene. From the context menu we can duplicate it and then drop it on another object. We may also duplicate the sticker and its material to change the material of the new sticker independently. We may darken the sticker with the diffuse weight or disconnect the map and then set a custom color. Let's see how to apply one sticker to multiple objects at once. Let's create a sticker for one object like we normally would. Now we can select another object and go to the sticker's context menu and choose apply to selection. If we move the sticker now we will see how it seamlessly crosses both objects. You can also do this by dropping the sticker directly on the scene's objects. Now we can select another object and go to the sticker's context menu and choose apply to selection. If we move the sticker now we will see how it seamlessly crosses all the objects. If you want to disengage the sticker from one of the objects you can do the same but choose disconnect selection instead. Remember that you can move stickers with the surface mode of the move tool. The shortcut for this is the S key. You can also easily disconnect all objects at once. An alternative method to apply the same sticker to multiple objects at once is to pre-select the objects before dropping the PNG.
This way the drop operation affects all selected objects at once. You may do the same on the Scene Explorer instead of the IPR. Depending on the case one is more convenient than the other. Last we will study the stickers override material options. Let's create a new sticker on our object. Let's change the material to metal and go to the overrides roll up in the sticker node. If all overrides are enabled the sticker's material is used like one would expect. And if they are all disabled, then the object's material is used instead. We might for example only take the bump map from our sticker to etch the object's material. Or to engrave it if we invert the bump. If we enable blend bump the sticker's bump will be mixed with the object's bump. We might enable the roughness override to take the sticker's roughness. Or the diffuse override to keep all the underlying materials properties. Except for the decal color. The creative possibilities of these options are awesome. Let's place oily fingerprints on a metallic object using these overrides. All we need to do is drop a fingerprint mask from the library to create a sticker. Then we will disable all the overrides except for bump and roughness. We will lower the bump intensity and crank up the roughness value to simulate what happens in reality. Let's try with another fingerprint mask and use the roughness override alone for this one. Just by raising roughness we achieve a believable result. This is all for this video. We are extremely proud of our implementation of stickers in Maverick and hope that you too will appreciate all their potential. In the upcoming videos we will explore practical examples that will teach you how to easily tackle real life projects. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.